Alright people, so I'm here with uh, part one of my Q&A. Now, I did say I was going to do this last week, but I had some shit going on. Had, you know, I was pretty occupied, so I'm, I'm going to get to it right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it up into, you know, a few parts. Since I do have 34 questions and counting, so I'm going to do 10 questions today. Um, and then, you know, 10 questions the next part. Probably, <clears throat> probably I'll do the... I'll probably do, you know, this once per week until I run out. But, I, I mean, if you have another question you want to ask, if you, you know, whatever, uh, comment it below. Uh, just try to specify, you know, let me know. This is for the Q&A because sometimes people will just ask me general questions that they want me to answer on the spot. So specify it, please, if it is for the Q&A. Or you could ask me on Twitter at WWE Heel Punk or on my Twitter other Twitter at ruthless ranter. So, oh uh, yeah, 30, 34 questions here. So uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do ten right now, and they, and they could be on anything, you know, sports, pop culture, entertainment, movies, wrestling, politics, whatever. Feel free, video games. I got some on that too. Music, whatever. So yeah, let's get into this. Uh, do you think the Chris Benoit double murder suicide case should be reopened? You know, looking at some of the evidence in that case, it, it does. It is interesting, you know. I think it should be, you know, reinvestigated. It wouldn't hurt, would it? Because, I, I don't know, it just seemed like, uh, to me, looking at the evidence and all the, you know, information on it, it left me kind of skeptical, you know, of did Chris Benoit actually do it or was it, you know, somebody who came in and did it? You know, somebody could have came in, did it, made it look like a suicide. And you, you see, like, I, I was watching Kevin Nash talk about it. And he's like, steroids don't make you do this shit. And, and, and from what people are saying, Chris Benoit was a nice guy. I mean, so, you know, I don't, you know, I think it should be, you know, look, looked at again, reinvestigated. Uh, number two, if you play WWE 2K15, what is your wish list for 2K16? Uh, like things I want in the game, you know, that's what he means by wish list. Um, I don't play 2K15. I don't play WWE 2K15, so, you know, I wouldn't really have a wish list. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I don't know. I just don't like the games too much, so I don't really play them. Uh, and I'll talk about it more in this next question, which is, do you play w, WWE games? I've tried them out before. I don't really like them. You know, it's, I don't know, it's just not entertaining. It's just fucking wrestling, you know, watching Raw is bad enough, I mean, actually playing it on a fucking video game is even worse, I mean, the wrestling, is, it just seems like the wrestling so, you know, poorly put together, it looks, doesn't even look like a real match, and it's something that's kind of hard to fucking put into a video game, in my opinion, I mean, you have to have it be more technologically advanced for it to be a fun game to play, at least for me, I just don't think, you know, it's, it's realistic, you know, I think I was playing it before, and I mean, it's stupid because, you know, if you, if it's like, if you're really beating up your opponent and you got him down, I mean, you could hit like a fucking typical move on him and pin him because, you know, that's how the game works when in reality, in, in the real wrestling or, you know, on Raw or whatever, you know, if you hit a guy with a move like a body slam, you're not going to fucking beat him, you know, but I don't know, it just seems unrealistic, the game to me, so that's why I don't like it, that's why I don't play it. And I don't play too many video video games to begin with. Number four. Could you play Minecraft on this channel on PC, Xbox One, or PS4 since you said you do play? I've played before. You know, I think the game's pretty interesting. I haven't played in like a few months though. So, uh, and, and I looked, uh, you know, the information on how I could get like the a video, <coughs> video of me playing. And you have to do a lot of work and buy some shit to make that happen, which I'm not going to do. And yeah, so that's not gonna happen. I'm sorry. I do play Minecraft a little bit. I have played it in the past. It's an interesting game and shit. Pretty basic. So, uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna fucking play, you know, it on this channel because it probably takes. It, 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 for one, it costs money to buy the the shit you need to get it. I mean, I guess I could just put point my iPad toward <coughs> towards the. Uh, TV, but I mean that would kind of look shitty. I mean, I guess I could do that. But the other thing, I mean, I don't play it either. You know, I don't. I'm not currently playing it, so I mean, 
you know, with all those factors considered, and, uh, you know, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to fucking do that, at least right now, the plan is, you know, for me, I'm not going to do that. Number five, would you consider WWE tough enough? No, I don't want to be a wrestler. I mean, for one thing, most wrestlers, when they get out of wrestling, they're fucking sore, crippled, uh, you know, die early, steroids, drugs, whatever. I mean, it just seems like something I don't want to get into. You know, I don't want to be, you know, around the, that environment. of You know, you could really fucking hurt yourself bad, too. You know, life, life-changing life injuries, uh, you know, like fucking Darren Drozdoff. So, you know, no, I... I I wouldn't consider WWE tough enough. Uh, you know, I, I'm not looking to become a wrestler. What I actually want to do is uh, I'm looking into going into something dealing with nutrition, like with your health. You know, I, I actually want to do something that's kind of going to help people out. You know, I don't want to be a fucking wrestler or, you know, be in the wrestling business. Because for one thing, there's a lot, there's a lot of failures. And, uh, and another thing, I'm probably, even if I went in, I wouldn't make it to w, WWE probably. So I, I don't want to be wrestling for like some indie company with 20 people there, you know, making fucking a, a small amount of money while I'm getting my body torn apart. Number six, who's your favorite rap artist? I don't really listen to music that much. So, I mean, I don't have an answer for this. If I did have a favorite rap artist, it would be somebody who doesn't rap about drugs and beating people up and shit like that. I would actually like somebody who, who rants about, you know, maybe freedom or liberty or you know, good quality moral things, but I don't really have a particular favorite rap artist because I don't really listen to music. Seven, would you consider playing WWE 2K15 My Career Mode only for Xbox One or PS4 and WWE 2K15 Universe Mode? Uh, I kind of already went over that, but no, I don't want to play the WWE video games because I don't like them. Eight, don't you wish Shane McMahon came back to WWE? You know, I wouldn't mind it. I think it would be kind of interesting to do maybe some authority story that storyline with Shane, and you know, maybe Shane's gonna you know try to overtake the company because he sees the corrupt Triple H going out of control. I mean, it could be an, an interesting storyline. Shane McMahon's been gone for quite a while now, so it would be kind of cool to see him back and shit. So, you know, I would be open to a Shane McMahon return. As long as WWE doesn't fuck it up like they do so many other people. But, you know, I think it, 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 a Shane McMahon return has the potential to be, you know, a very good storyline. You know, but chances are, you know, WWE would fuck it up. But yes, I would like to see Shane McMahon back. Nine, what made you want to be on YouTube? You know, what made me want to be on YouTube is I saw people, you know, in particular the Brad Rules doing YouTube videos. And he was really the one who kind of inspired me to make... A YouTube channel, you know, I, you know, I liked watching his videos, and I felt like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna voice my own opinion, so, you know, I felt like making one, I made one, and, you know, I've had a lot of fun on it, uh, so, you know, that's kind of what uh, got me into this YouTube channel. Number 10, what got you into wrestling? What got me into wrestling? You know, I, I did start watching it when I was, like, a little kid, you know, like, 9, 10 years old, uh, and then I, you know, Stopped watching it for a while. Then a few years later, back in 2011, uh, late 2011, Survivor, around Survivor Series, I, I picked it up again and started, I don't even know why, I think I might have just saw it on TV. Started watching it again and I've been watching it ever since, unfortunately. For me, it's taken away a lot of precious time in my life, but, you know, I can't stop now. But, you know, I got the YouTube channel and everything, so I, I've invested a lot in this company and unfortunately, my investment has not paid off. But that's kind of, you know, I, 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 I think I just started started watching it out, out of the blue, you know, in 2011. And, you know, I just, I don't know. I, I, that's what I just started doing. I don't, I don't remember anything that really caused me to start watching it again. So, I mean, it, but, but yeah, I mean, that's kind of why, I, that, that, that's what got me. You know, most kids watch wrestling, or at least a lot of kids watch wrestling when they're like 9, 10 you know, eight, nine, ten years old, so, I mean, that's a common thing, but, you know, again, I picked it up again back in, uh, 2011, and, again, I've been watching it ever since, uh, so, yeah, and, I mean, there wasn't really something that I remember that made me watch it again back in 2011, I think I just might have saw it on TV and started watching, and have been watching ever since then, but there you go, people, there is part one of my Q&A, part two will probably be up next week, 
So check it out. If you have any more questions, again, just don't hes don't hes hesitate to ask. You know, even if you have fucking five questions or ten questions or whatever, you can ask me. The only thing I ask is no retard retard questions. You know, no trolls. You know, I don't want any any troll questions. You know, or anything like that. So there you go, people. There is part one of my Q and A.